All right, we're getting to work here on this other side now. Let's try this again. Seems like every time I sit down, I realize there's a tool on the other side of the machine that I need. Big buddy, that's why we go big. Oh, yeah. You're gonna make me get up again, aren't you? Tell you what, this machine and me are gonna have some words soon that ain't fit for camera. Everything on it's being a pain. It finally just breaks. Why couldn't you have broke right away, you dirty son of a... And of course, it's got a great flush. Now, I'm down here by myself. The teenagers, they gotta get their sleep. <laughs> I, I, I was a teenager once. So long, long ago, who remembers, but I think I used to get lots of sleep too. Well, this isn't the worst of these. I've had to drill these things out before. At least this one's moving. Cooperate now. I may be drilling this one out yet. I do not want to go. Come on. Don't break. Don't break. some bends in it and I sprayed all this stuff down a few days ago but now someone's had that one apart because that cotter pin is nowhere near the right size so I replaced the upper ball joints here at one point if I can get my fingers in there my fat sausage fingers I don't understand this one. That is so loose, I can almost pull it back the other way. What the heck was that about? I may need AC out here eventually, yes. I'm sweating like you wouldn't believe it. It's only about 10 a.m. All the cotter pins are out. That took about 10 times longer than it should have. Wants to play, so today I came to play. what happens when you piss me off. I've said it before, with enough heat, anything will come off. There we go. I think we'll just let this cool for a little while. Okay, moving on to the front here. We got the one bolt at the back, the output shaft of the uh, transmission here. Again, I'm using a 13 mil ratchet wrench. <clears throat> I didn't have to heat. Miracle. 
I'm hoping I don't need to do anything too crazy here. Should be able to just slide that shaft forward. All right, little short bolt. Have been too much to ask. To give me an extra sixteenth of an inch to get that shaft out. Okay, things are cooling down here to the touch. We can go ahead get that CV axle out here now. Ouch, I pinched my finger. I'm not getting in there. Of course not. We don't want to give a guy enough room. We want to sock it in there. That's hot. going to cooperate here why start now she says oh is it possible it's gonna, it's gonna take a while always something else that upper ball joint's got to go there's supposed to be a cap here but it's packed right full of mud you're not supposed to be able to see the ball moving around okay you can see they're slacking it once i got some wd-40 in there and broke it apart you can see that's not how they're supposed to work so just one more thing for the list uh, should have been an indication when i saw the boot was that bad Okay, so the next thing is to take the brake caliper off. This is why I prefer Allen's over Torx. They're not great either, but they don't tend to break. They do strip, but all things being equal, more cooperative. A 12 millimeter wrench over on this side. <clears throat> that doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. I did not want to have to heat that. There's a little rubber boot on there that does not like heat. Now normally if you pry up on this enough that will come off, but as they were, you get this lip on the end of the disc. It's usually rust because the pad doesn't touch that. And it just makes it complicated. So it's easier to just to take the two pins out and remove the pads. Put that out on the keys on the other side. Why not? Now these don't tend to strip. They just get really dirty. There's a lot of... Ooh, maybe I'm wrong on this one. There we go. There's a lot of... Over the years in between, it's wide open to the elements, so... Mud, water... 
you name it. It'll get in there. Right, there's the part that sucks. Because you no longer have the threads helping you to pull it out. And you're dealing with a rusty pin covered in mud. It's got to go through a tiny little hole. There's no way to get in there and lubricate it. That's, that would be a divine consideration. It goes so far and then it just bottoms out because the pin's all rusty. So I don't like to use vice grips because I'm not actually squeezing that hard. There we go. So it's just crap on the pin and I didn't damage the threads at all. If I was to use vice grips, come right toward it, it's a good chance I'm going to have to run a die over those things. Put threads back on. They actually were not that bad, all things considered. So now, you got to knock that one back. It's not a round hole. It's got a flat side that won't let you turn it. It's a little room to play here. There we go. Brakes are in good shape. Okay. Caliper is out of the way. So it's just a little clip in there right there that holds that axle into the diff. And you can see there wasn't much left of that one. You can hear the sand and crap in there. Okay, so there's our front drive shaft come out and you can see where the problem was there the uh, boot went off of it it's a common story with these the boots go they're not long for the world they get water in there the grease starts to burn out and then they rust and then the splines tear out honestly that uh, that universal is no good either it doesn't even it'll move in this direction but barely at all this way So that wasn't long for the world either. Okay, so other than taking out this bad upper ball joint, that pretty much ends our disassembly. We could actually start going the other direction. Putting some stuff together instead of a part. The fun part. Well, the good thing is most of the stuff is clean when you put it together. Who's laying bets they gotta heat these up to get them out? That would be where everything else is gone today. Oh, look at that. Sweet baby Jesus, it worked. God, something that worked without heat. It's a miracle. Be able to use a power tool to get something out. Instead of a giant pry bar and torches and swearing. And Come on. They don't give me much room there, do they? <laughs> 